Here's how to unsync your iPad from your iPhone. Now, if you have an iPad and you don't want all of that information, maybe the photos, the messages, the bookmarks, any of those different things to be synced up between your iPhone and your iPad, I'm gonna show you how to turn all of those off and what to look for. So the first thing is that we'll just disable them all on your iPhone so it doesn't push them over to your iPad. So let's go into your settings here and we'll tap on general. And then the first thing we'll do is airplay and handoff. Now handoff is the ability to basically hand off from your iPhone to your iPod, iPad, but if you don't want that, we'll just toggle that off so that's not a feature. It won't automatically push that information, the bookmarks, whatever websites you're visiting and all that stuff over to your iPad. So once we've done that, let's go back and back again. And then we'll tap on our name at the very top. Now, the first and the easiest way to remove and unsync your iPad is you could just delete it from your Apple ID. So we can scroll down. I don't have an iPad on this list, but let's say I'm just gonna tap on my MacBook Pro here and say that's my iPad. All you have to do is hit remove account at the very bottom and that will unsync your iPad completely from your Apple ID. It will remove everything, your photos, your messages, your bookmarks, apps, any kind of shared information, any of that stuff, it will completely wipe all that. But keep in mind that has some negatives. It has some downsides. Basically, if you wanted to go into the app store and download any apps on your iPad, now you're signed out of your Apple ID. You have to sign into a different Apple ID or something like that. So another option you have is to tap on iCloud here. And then where it says apps using iCloud, let's hit show all. Now, one of the things you can do is if you don't want to push any of these different things to your iPad, you can just toggle them off and they'll unsync themselves. So for instance, photos, you can go in here and toggle off sync this iPhone. Uh, messages, you can go in there and toggle off sync this iPhone. Any of these different things, contacts, calendars, Safari, bookmarks, uh, your stocks, games, game center, music, any of those different things. You can basically just go through this laundry list. You can turn everything off and basically that will prevent those things from being synced from your iPhone over to your iPad so they'll be completely separate. Now keep in mind there is a downside to this because if you turn off any of these on your iCloud, then they won't be synced up to your iCloud, so you won't have a backup of it if you do lose your iPhone at some point down the road. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.